Hi everybody, today we're going to look at the concept of conditional probability. So conditional probability is basically probability of a certain event uh, given knowledge about the occurrence of another event. So what I mean by this is say we have two events A and B, then the conditional probability of event B given A, that's what this sign means, this means given so the probability of B given A is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. So what this means is if I want to find the probability of event B given that the event A has occurred or not occurred depending on the question then this would be the formula that I use. So to better understand this concept let's look at some examples. So the first one here, it says the probability uh, of rain, oh sorry, there should be an of here, the probability of rain on a certain day and Tom being absent is 0 0.3. The probability of rain is 0 0.4. What is the probability that Tom is absent given that it rains? Okay, so the two events we have here are rain and Tom being absent. And what we want to find out is the probability of Tom being absent given that it rains. So let me quickly note down the formula before we begin. The probability of some event B given A is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of A. Right? And here... We want to find out the probability that Tom is absent given that it rains. So here, based on the wording or the phrasing of the question, we know that A is the event of rain, rain, and B is Tom being absent. So based on the question, we're able to find out that uh, we want to find the conditional probability of B given A. And to do this, we simply substitute values into our formula. The probability of A and B would be the probability of rain and Tom being absent. And that's our very first line here. The probability of rain on a certain day and Tom being absent is 0 0.3. So that would be our numerator. And the denominator is simply the probability of rain, which is 0 0.4. So our conditional probability is 0 0.3 over 0 0.4, which is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so that would be our final answer for this question. Let's look at a different question, a slightly harder one. And this one is hard purely because of the way that it's worded. So the question says, students in a certain Spanish class had to take two tests, reading and speaking. 25% of the class passed both tests, while 51% of the class passed the reading test. What percent of those who passed the first test also passed the second test? So if you may notice, in this question, we don't have the word given, which makes it a little tricky because we have to be clear about um, what event B is and what event A is in this formula. So let's read the question again and try to figure out what exactly B and A would be. So our two events here are passing the first test and passing the second test. What percent of those who passed the first test also passed the second test? So here if you read it carefully, it says of those who passed the first test also passed the second test. So we're trying to find the proportion of people who have, we know for certain that they have passed the first test. And of those people, we are trying to find the percent of people who passed the second test. So in this situation, event A would be uh, passing, passing test one, test one. And B would be passing the second test. So I hope that's clear. And once we have this, then everything should be easy. It's just a matter of substituting it into the formula. And we have probability of A and B. And that we know is 
25% is 0 0.25. And the probability of A is probability of passing the first test. And it says 51% of the class passed the reading test. And reading, we know, was the first test. And hence, this is going to be 0 0.51. And this gives us 0 0.49. And because the question asks us what percent, we can convert this into a percentage by multiplying it by 100, and this is going to give us 49%. So this is the percentage of those who passed the second test given that they had already passed the first test. So that is conditional probability. I hope that was helpful, and thank you for watching.